Hey, what's going on, everybody? Jason here, jasonbrock.com, kmoneymachine.com. And uh, you guys know this guy, Dewan Bainey. We've been, <laughs> we've been hanging out for quite a long time, good buddy of mine. And we're here to talk about, uh, amongst other things, KBook Promotions. It's some really, really cool software that Dewan and his uh, developer have been working on for uh, quite some time now. And it's it's rocking. He just showed me a kind of behind the scenes uh, look at it, and he's going to show you guys the same stuff as well. So, what's going on, man? I am. Uh, I'm feeling amazing, man. Just came back from a huge move across the Vancouver Island here, and finally settled back in. And uh, yeah, man, I'm just. I'm feeling. I'm feeling rock star. Did you just put everything on a boat and just like? send it over there or pretty not? much man you, you hauled track and shipped it on the boat and, and a case of beer to ease my pains and that was that so well, it looks it's like you're settled in and you're comfortable and everything so yeah good. this is all set up which is great cool man so well let's just get right into it i don't want to keep everybody waiting because like cool, we, we let's just full disclosure so before i got on this call with you you had asked me about cable promotions and i played around with it a little bit but i have not i'm not a real like big software guy I'm kind of old school but you won me over and you showed me some stuff on here that just really blew my mind how cool it is and so I'm hoping that um, you know everybody else watching checks this out because I think it's very valuable so uh, let's jump into it you've got Kindle you've got the Amazon store open yeah, and I've got uh, Kbook Promotions, Kindle Book Promotions in the back. I just want to quickly caveat something here. You know, like I've been publishing now for just over a year. I've made quite good money doing it. And not only that, I've been surrounded with a lot of other publishers who, you know, I've seen what it takes to scale this business. And the biggest thing that people don't have is time. And it becomes a huge, you know, just waste of time. I won't say waste of time, but you've got to manage books, you've got to find niches, you've got to do promotions, you've got to do all these things. And you know, especially with VAs, it, it, it takes a ton of time and money. So for me, it was like I was trying to figure out a solution that I could reduce my time spent in the business and automate as much as possible. And this is kind of where the software was born. Luckily, I found an amazing uh, you know, developer who understands how to, how to build systems so quickly. And ultimately, that's kind of what uh, led us to doing KBook. But yeah, let's just jump right into it, man. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go on the Amazon store. And actually, we'll just start off here as an example. We'll just do coconut oil. And... Uh, you know, so usually if you're going into a niche, you would have to go in book by book. So if you can see here on the top right corner, I've actually got the plugin living here. So I'm just going to click it quickly. And what this is actually going to do now is start analyzing every single book within the top 10 or top 16. In this case, I've got it set at the top 16. I can see average sales rank, uh, again, average sales revenue per book, average price, number of reviews, average ratings, uh, total sales revenue, profitability and competition. The nice thing is that, again, you're not going to have to go through every single one of these books and try to figure out literally what's happening. I can see just on a snapshot. Um, so I can see, honestly, it's not a very profitable niche. The average sales rank for the word coconut oil is 219,000. So in my, you know, in my mind, I would not even be jumping into this niche. Uh, you know, I'd be looking at something around 100,000. But just because we've got this information pulled up, let's just assume it is a profitable niche. So I can actually go in now and hit this show word cloud, and it will actually show me the top keywords for this niche. So I can see coconut, weight, oil, loss, recipes, beauty secrets, and so on. So if I was to like off the top of my head try to figure out a book title, it might be like, uh, I don't know, coconut oil recipes for weight loss. weight loss and beauty, something like that. So like in an instant, I've just created a high, you know, a high quality keyword title. And I know that these are the top keywords because these are the top keywords are within these books. So that's great. And then the second thing is, okay, you've got to pick a category. And I know this is like something that I struggled with where you keep going through all these books trying to find top categories. Literally all you have to do is hit this button now and we can actually see that the top categories are actually funny enough, beauty, grooming and style and then cookbooks. So like that already is an amazing like piece of information that I don't think I would have you know, ideally found. Uh, I don't even know if I've even been in the beauty, grooming, and style category, to be quite honest. And I actually have a coconut oil book. So there you go. There's a piece of info that I never would have found. Um, so let's go one further here now. And let's just say that I'm looking at a author that I really like. So, uh, you know, here's a guy that I like. Um, and now let's let's spy on this Jason guy and see what he's all about. So same thing. I can just you know, hit the software here and we can literally see all of Jason's books. 
So we'll give it a second here and let it load. Uh, it's just an amazing way for me to find exactly what's going on. So Jason's got a book on Kindle publishing that's doing quite well uh, and an Evernote book. So instantly, again, I can say, okay, you know, if I want to be like this Jason character, well, maybe I should start with a Kindle publishing book and an Evernote book. Um, and same thing can apply. You know, I can go to like a Steve Scott book as an example. Let's just dive into his Kindle publishing book here just for fun. And I'm going to show you kind of the next pieces of the software. So not only is it a plugin on your Chrome, we actually have a backend on the website. So what I'm going to do actually is just grab Jason's ASIN number here and we'll move over to the web dashboard. So this is the internal dashboard now of Kbook. Um, and this is kind of the first thing I want to talk about. So it's a rank tracker tool. Um, Jason, I don't know about you, but for me right now, I am paying my VAs mm -hmm. to weekly give me an update on how my books are doing so that I can make a decision on, you know, do I need to repromote them or do I need to up the price or down the price? What we've done here on the rank tracker tool is actually you can input every single one of your books and then track them live. The beauty is, is if you actually click the book here, you get a live graph actually showing you day by day where your sales rank is going. So you know, I'm paying my VAs anywhere from three to five dollars an hour. And this is on average like a five to eight hour a job per right. week. Um, so forget it. Like unfortunately now my VAs won't get <laughs> get the pay for it. But literally you just drop in your ASIN number, hit track. I'm gonna hide this old graph here. And great, that's Jason's book now. So even if Jason is a competitor, even, I can actually say, okay, you know, how am I doing compared to Jason? And again, I would just click it. Obviously, because today is when we put the, you know, we, we put in the book, uh, it's only going to show today's dot. But as every day goes by, we can start seeing kind of where it's going through. And that Great. will so stay in there? And it'll stay in there for life. If wow. you decide you want to delete the book or stop tracking it, you just hit stop tracking and away it goes. You don't have to log into the software and refresh it. It automatically refreshes once a day. Um, so again, you might build out your niche and some of the competitors' niche to kind of just see where you're at daily in terms of a snapshot. Um, so let's move on to the next feature here, which is the HTML description generator. And I know for me, this is something that I struggled with because I really wasn't too great with HTML. So you've got two options. This is actually a live generator. And literally all you have to do is drag and drop like a headline in or a subtitle. So I'll just show you here quickly. Like I can just drag this. Oops. Wow. So you can even make that. <laughs> yeah. You can see here, like I've just changed that back and forth. I'm gonna have to drag this down here, yeah. Um, and then I can do it live as well. So this is a headline and you can see it live updates. So for people that are really struggling with creating a good description, they're able to just pump it right in here and see the changes live. Um, but then the second cool feature is, let's say again, I like Jason's description. So all I would have to do is grab his ASIN. I think I still have got it pasted here. I can go look up. And now Jason's entire description is now living in here. And literally, I can just go in and edit this information as I see fit. And then all I have to do is hit generate HTML code, copy and paste this into KDP, and I'll literally get this exact description in my KDP without ever having to knowing any HTML. So for me, this has been great. Like I've personally gone on like SJ Scott stuff or other guys that have really great descriptions and just snipe their entire description and then used it for my own. Um, and then moving on, we've got this keyword link builder tool. So I was talking to Jason earlier about this, where a lot of people are actually inputting keywords for organic search via um, Amazon. So instead of, I can actually just show you here quickly. If I just do, you can see up here, Jason, where it says like keywords, Jason. Mm -hmm. So literally I can create this type of uh, URL, but for let's say Kindle publishing. So I've got your ASIN here. I would do Kindle Publishing. I'll select my US market, hit Generate Link. And you can see now I've literally inserted this keyword as Kindle Publishing. So if you're doing this for like Facebook groups, Twitter promotion, uh, on your blog and so on, Amazon does actually put some weight on this keyword. So there's no reason why in the future you should just be putting the, the like vanilla Amazon link. You should be posting this entire thing because all it's gonna do is create more backlinks for you. Well, Amazon says, oh, people have searched Kindle Publishing and found my book. You're going to rank higher for that keyword. So, exactly, exactly. Very cool. Uh, now, Jason, this is the thing that I'm most excited about. I know when I first started publishing, oops, as I knocked my microphone there, um, you know, there were all these websites that you could submit to for free promotions, but it was so time committing. Like, you know, it would take you anywhere from five to 10 minutes 
per website. Uh, we've actually created an automated solution now where, look, I'll literally just show you here. So again, this is just Jason's book, the Kindle publishing book. I'm just gonna post the ASIN number here. Um, and this list we're adding to weekly. These are all free promotion book websites. Literally all you have to do is hit select all. And um, again, Jason, I guess you don't have an author profile set up. I'll just put Jason here. Um, we've pulled all of the information off of Jason's book in this Kindle publishing book and automatically submitted all the proper information. I'm just gonna put like a regular price as an example. Uh, and we'll just do nonfiction here. And literally, I just hit submit to free websites. Oh, I'll just put here Jason's bio. Hopefully, that's enough. And now I'm automatically submitting to every single one of these websites for you. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, and literally, this used to take five to 10 minutes per website because you had to, again, manually put in your author name, your description, your ASIN, promo date, so on and so on. Um, and then on top of that, we've got both a Facebook promotion and Twitter promotion feature. Uh, I don't know if I have mine set up right now. Let me just see here. Yeah, I don't have my Facebook set up on this. Um, give me one second here, Jason. Okay. I gotta go back to the front here. I like what you, you've got going on though. I mean, just like from doing it my way and, and paying people to do this, I can d instantly see like how much money and time I'm going to save just using this tool. Like the, it, the four things or five things you've showed so far. Yeah. And, and again, unfortunately I don't have my Facebook set up to this account, mm -hmm. but basically what will happen is you can actually set up a Facebook promotion where we would, um, you can add categories, you can add groups. Again, I'll have tutorial videos on the website that we can kind of push right. through to. Um, but literally, you would set up your Facebook message here with your book information, and then you can create custom groups. These custom groups, and you hit post once, and the software will auto post. It, it doesn't matter if you have 100, 500 groups, whatever it is, it will actually auto post all of these messages to all of these groups. You can save it then as a template, and then your VAs just come in once a month or once every two months whenever you do your promotions. Hit send, and it auto posts. Right. Again, within our tutorials here, we've got again, the Facebook scraper and the Facebook poster. And then similarly as well, we've got one for Twitter. So you would just add all the handles that you wanna tweet out to. So maybe there's like a book promotion website or thought leaders within your marketplace. Again, you would just add the Twitter handles, put the Twitter message you want posted. Our software takes care of the fact that, like obviously you can't post 500 in one shot. So it's actually a timed release with our post, but you just set it and forget it and away you go. So you don't have to worry about hitting like Facebook spam thing or Twitter spam. Okay, I was gonna ask you that because I actually invested in some software when I first started, it was doing that and it was basically getting me uh, some issues with Facebook. So you guys have, <laughs> it's really cool you guys had the foresight to go ahead and do that. To yeah, because we don't wanna risk anybody's account. So it's set up on a random timing, like anywhere from like five to 30 seconds or to like a minute. And then it just randomly selects those numbers and then makes sure that the posts look organic. Mm -hmm. Realistically speaking though, I really wanna see people instead of posting like 900 groups, focus on those 15 or 20 really high value groups. Again, like you can see here, I had like CrossFit as an example, you know, get, post to the CrossFit groups, post to the uh, spirituality groups, whatever it is, find those 10 or 15, but at least you don't have to replicate that 10 or 15 times post. You just post it once, boom, you're done. You'll never ever run into issues with Facebook and you'll never run into issues with Twitter. I like it. I, you know, I, I always tell people don't post to like, for the most part, don't post to like the free groups, you know, like the free yeah. groups. Post to that niche like CrossFit or, you know, whatever, like juicing or anything like that. So, um, that's cool. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be rocking this out. Love it. <laughs> I, I am going to be doing it, uh, and I'm also going to be training my VA on you know how to use it as well, which is great. Cool. And, you, and you have a login, right? You just log into the to the software, and then you have the plugin. So yeah, exactly. So the plugin just lives on your Google Chrome uh, dashboard here. Mm -hmm. So when it's living there, like whenever you need it, again, it doesn't matter where you go. Again, I could just go to. Again, I don't I have no idea who this guy is. I'll just click it, and it just works in the background, you know. And if I want to look up more information in terms of on the front end of Kindle, it's all here. This guy seems to be doing pretty decent. Um, great. So maybe both of us want to get into the right short Kindle books niche, as an example, right? I can see his book is selling twenty one thousand. So it's just good. It just gives you like 
there's one thing we can't get back and it's time. And all of us are investing thousands and thousands of dollars a month, you know, whether it's marketing, whether it's paying VAs, whether it's writing books, like invest in a tool that's going to speed up that process tenfold and you're going to get so much better results. And the best thing is, is you're getting so much information up front. And like I said, I was skipping website submissions for the longest time in my business because it was so time consuming. I was still leaving money on the table regardless, any way you look at it. And, and this, it really and truly has revolutionized the way that I've done my business. And I'm working less and getting more results because of it. And I just, I really just want to put this in as many hands, uh, sorry, as many people's hands as possible because I know it's going to help people. Yeah, I mean, just uh, like, I mean, the Facebook, the Twitter promotions, the key, you know, keyword link builder, all that stuff. If that can just help you get one or two or three or four extra sales a day, that's the difference between having a, a ten thousand dollar a year business and a hundred and fifty thousand dollar a year business. Yeah, Those sales Great. depending on how many books you have. So, um, I, I like it. I mean, I think anybody watching this can definitely see the value in it. And um, you know, is there anything else? I know you have a couple things. I know you guys are always working on stuff too. Yeah, we're, we're adding, adding to it. So yeah, we're like we're really committed to making this the absolute best Kindle publishing software on the internet. Um, and we've been just tons of stuff on the pipeline. We've got a huge list of websites that we're still adding to on the website submission tool. Um, we've got a really active Facebook group actually, uh, where we're again, consistently masterminding within there about how to not only improve the business in terms of the software, but helping other people's businesses as well. Um, but yeah, man, we've got tons on the pipeline, nothing that I can really talk about, uh, yet. We do have the Firefox plugin coming shortly. Uh, again, it's Mac and Windows friendly because it does just live in your Chrome um, browser. Um, and we've been pu pushing updates like crazy. Like I think we're at 4.15 uh, that comes out tomorrow actually uh, that has a couple added features. But by all means, uh, just head on over to our website. Uh, Jason will have a link there in, uh, in the video and just consistently ch check up on us because we're rolling out features again really, really regularly and we're not looking at adding, you know, more costs. It's just we're gonna continue to serve as many people as possible. And if there's new features that people are looking for, we're more than happy to add it as well. Cool man. Well I'm gonna be I'm gonna be jumping on it. Uh, I'll probably do a kind of a I'm gonna use it for a couple weeks and kinda of do a uh, kind of a review, I guess you could say, or tutorial sure. of some stuff that I figured out and, and things like that. But I'm gonna be using it for my business because like I said, you know I, for the price you're charging, you know, uh, and for for the value that you get, it, it's definitely uh, well worth it. So, I want to put a link down below, guys. Check it out, give it a shot, and give it give it 30 days. And if you're doing Kindle publishing, you're serious about doing Kindle publishing, give it give it a 30 day trial. I, I think that after the 30 days, you're gonna want to keep using it and uh, continue to use it. So, D1, I appreciate it, man. Take some time. Yeah, out. thanks, brother. Uh, congrats on the move and. Uh, We'll talk to you again soon. Okay, sounds good, brother. Cheers.